what's up what's up guys it's afternoon time here um around 2 10 um 2 p.m 10 minutes after 2 p.m um i just want to verify no 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 four minutes four minutes after um and uh my rabbit just delivered the one with the experiment thing um so it's just she was done it is just done delivering now about three minutes three minutes i just went inside to get the camera to film i didn't want to bother it too much because i was observing it so let's get into the cage and see what she's about now if you guys can notice on the leg there's blood over there she just actually literally finished so um you can see on the leg there, there's still blood she's still cleaning she's not done and this is how the babies look like fresh babies she gave birth to five five of them five babies right there. five babies so these two and then three like blacks or something two whites and um, three blacks so that is it uh, i just don't want it to feel a bit agitated but it's done so well and uh, it works so well with the um, nest box putting in okay it's warning me of the territory thing i get it um the wood shavings everything worked out so well so i'm happy i'm happy with what i'm seeing right now um so how did the experiment go day one uh one of the things that i definitely have seen is that first i told you it delivered three and with the three deliveries, it bit off one and then it died. I think that was out of inexperience because uh, that is a first time mother. So I get it. Um, it was well grown and uh, that was the first time it was delivering. And so I get why it will behave like that. And then secondly, uh, I bred it again two days after it delivered its first kids, you know, and so um, the reason why I did that was because the first time it delivered uh, After it bit off I was suspecting it wasn't a good mother because uh, It made the nest box but then delivered to uh, Decided to deliver on the wire and so you can see in this one right now It made the nest box very well and everything and delivered inside I was sitting right here monitoring it That is the chair. I was right here. I was monitoring it and it went into the box and delivered successfully cleaned off the blood and everything and then came out here to continue cleaning and rest uh, these are the babies it took care of later it has two in here and then i fostered four from the mother up here i'm still waiting for her to deliver but so far so good it's been wonderful and i'm happy i'm happy uh one i was trying to see whether the second rebreeding at this time because it will still be in the motherly mode will she be able to do things right and yes it did things right um, um health wise to do that to 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 um breed your rabbit while it is breastfeeding other babies while it has just bre uh, given birth and breastfeeding other babies you need to feed it well so that is one thing I decided to take my time and feed it very well so i was always in here checking on it and all that stuff i didn't want it to go hungry ever i made sure they always had enough food in the feeding um, bowl the feeder and so that is one thing you need to know if you want to run this experiment make sure you know exactly what you are about and um sorry a call coming through make sure you know exactly what you're about make sure there is abundance of food it's very very important if you don't feed them well they may end up eating the baby once they give birth to the baby also if you don't feed them well what happens is that uh, their system converts one of the child into food so the child will be just extracted back into the system as food to replenish the mom and so you don't want to keep them malnourished um the second thing i was looking at was the first amount it leaded three and now that i know the motherly instinct is confirmed because i checked it and that was why i was confident enough to foster other four kids to it i was trying to see whether um at that high heat period when they the first deliver i mean like right now after the delivery today tomorrow um a day after tomorrow the first three days they are high on heat 
now uh, would the babies increase then you get it and and then I see that there's an increase of two and so now it has five kids I'm happy with the five very happy with the five because uh, they have only eight breasts I didn't want it to have more and so right now this one on the f uh, on, on the other time had four kids right and so right now if this one should have like six or seven and it's not taking care of them well then i'm gonna have a problem with this one you get it and so yeah i'm okay with the five very very okay with the five now um i'm observing it the kids are okay uh it did clean everything well and it's still cleaning you can see it over there trying to still clean the toes and all that it took some hair out it had enough hair so when you do it do it in a right way um what i will advise is this if you want to go through this uh, process make sure one you're feeding them well think of the health of the animal now i've done it for the first time i'm not going to do it for the second time like i'm just not going to give it to a male to cross no after this birth i'll just make sure it takes care of the kids for six full weeks and uh, i'll give it two weeks more to rest and then before i'll bring it to another male you get it um, that is what I want to do but if you want to be going that way you can do three successive uh, breedings and then you give it a rest period of maybe two months and then you do uh, another three or something and then you're done something like that will be ideal but always think about the health of the animal because if it is not in good standing if the animal is not in good standing the babies that are going to come out are not going to be healthy I'm lucky that i fed it well and i took care of it properly and the babies that came out are very big they are just like what she delivered the other time out with the two now i used the male the giant the giant down here to to breed it and that is the same giant i used to breed this one too so i'm just waiting for this one to also deliver so i see what is happening so that is how my experiment went and i'm so happy um i spent a lot of time i know it's uh, afternoon uh, deliverer like it delivers only it kindles in the afternoon and so um i was here already because i know the last time out it delivered somewhere between 12 to 1 uh ex specifically between 12 30 to 1 p.m that was when it delivered and this time around it delivered uh it started the birth process at 1 55 1 55 and by four min uh, by 2 p.m uh two one minute after two it was done the process is usually that quick the their birth, uh, depending on the number of liters they, they are having, their birth is usually really quick. It's always the first one that is difficult. Once the first one comes out and they lick out the blood and then they 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 eat up the first batch of the, the placenta, they just shit everything out and then right from there they start cleaning, 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 cleaning and then they're out. It's very quick. They don't spend more than 10 minutes in there unless maybe you're having a load shit load of litter or they don't have experience and then they spend a lot of time but in general they are really good so that is uh day one of the experiment now i know it's healthy and good it still pulled out good hair this time around it didn't give birth outside of the thing if you have questions you you think we should answer i should answer let me know um i will also do a video on the other one when it comes out i'll see the behavior what that one also did was that the first time it made the nesting box i i gave it a box it it made the um, the fur and everything with the grass it took it out and did it on the wire i brought it back inside it took it out on the wire again and delivered on it right and so this time around i've given it a box way earlier to see what it's going to do and so i'm monitoring it to see whether it is going to deliver in the box also like correction ways so these are some of the things you need to be doing i'm doing this correction with you guys i'm doing this experiment and so you guys can also have a field day i mean choosing which path you really want to go if you are like breeding for uh, meat and you want to be like very quick in all this is the way you can go so now here you can see um right now in just they they need six weeks to be weaned right but at one month already i've separated them the mom has new babies right now and so um three months ago three three months ago yes i bred it for the first time and then it delivered now exactly one month after delivery it has another litter again you get it so if you you're gonna go to let's say you breed it on the 1st of january and it delivers on the 31st of of january or let's say on the 1st of march uh, on of february then you know that definitely um by the time end of february comes 
it is also pregnant again and will deliver again you get it and so if you go like that you can have babies like every month every month every month and the kids will just be weaned off and that is one way you can surely go it's still cleaning the babies after struggling a bit are now relaxed in sleeping mode and i know it's going to take care of them because i know it breastfeeds very very well uh, right now the last thing left for me to do which is something i do on my farm here is that i go and bring them fresh dandelions whenever they give birth that is how i treat them like after they've given birth so that they can have a good um recovery system so to say and uh, that is what i'm going to do right now and get it some fresh grass to also eat i did give some fresh grass already and so uh, it ate i knew it was full before it gave birth and so and sometimes when they're about to deliver they don't really want to eat and all that so that's just by the way so i'm going to get the fresh dandelions and then i'll end the video right there fresh dandelions For a job well done you can see how it's munching on it right now and um, babies are now relaxed sleeping I know I have five from her very good mother so far um, I can definitely recommend kids from this mother um, for example that is if I'm having a breeding plant to like sell to other people and all that stuff then that is what I would definitely do this mother kids from this mother that mother this mother that mother and this mother they are all very good breeders very very good breeders they take care of their kids this one i won't recommend kids from because of my first experience so the only time i'm going to recommend kids is what it does this time around and if it's able to take care of the kids by itself that is the only thing i'm going to recommend but for right now uh i won't recommend kids from this one you get it both male and female if you're going to eat them yes but if you're going to use them as breeders definitely not so that is what it is uh, so guys um, that will be the end of my video today I hope I've been able to um, help you with something and uh, yeah it's a beautiful thing I'm happy and um, hope you learned something from it as well let me know what you think in the comment section below my name is Modine and this is rabbit and more I forgot to introduce myself in the early days, but peace out, take care and have a wonderful time farming.